What's up, y'all? It's your girl Jordan from MyMelanaProject.com, where we conquer all things fashion, beauty, and life. What's up, y'all? As y'all can see, we're not in our usual setup today. I'm in my bathroom. It's nighttime. I have on my pajamas, and that is because I'm about to do my nighttime skincare routine using some new Fenty Skin products. So unless you are living under a rock, then you know, about two weeks ago, Rihanna launched her new skincare line, Fenty Skin. The first launch of the line included three products, a cleanser, a toner, and a moisturizer with SPF in it. So my package arrived a couple days ago. I did open it a little just to take a picture and put it on my Insta story, but I have not opened it all the way yet. But before I open it, I do want to let you guys know that I do not have the cleanser. I just have the toner and the moisturizer with SPF. Um, I signed up to get the early access link to shop early to make sure that I got everything, but I never got the link to purchase it early, which was no big deal. I'm just like, I'll just buy it when it comes out at midnight and literally by 12.02, the cleanser was sold out. So I just have the toner and the moisturizer. For the purposes of this video, I would have liked to have the cleanser so I could give you guys a full review, but personally, I didn't really care too much about the cleanser just because in my current routine, I love all of my cleansers and I'm not looking to replace any of them, but I am missing a hydrating toner, which she has, and I am missing a moisturizer with SPF, that which she has, so I was more excited about those two products. So let's go ahead and open the box. This is what it looks like when you first open it, and it's just plain brown on the outside, and I'm going to take the paper out. Take the packing slip out. And this is the first product that's in here. This is the toner. This is called Fenty Skin Fat Water. It's a pore refining toner serum. It instantly refines the look of pores, reduces the look of dark spots, even skin tone, and fights the shine without stripping the skin. Directions is to use daily and night on clean skin. Apply over your face with your fingers for external use only. Apply as directed. This I am excited for, um, a hydrating toner. You need it. I love the packaging, I love the way it looks. I love the fact that they say it's so thick you don't really have to use like a cotton pad to put it on, you can just pour it in your hands and put it on. I am most excited about this product. And secondly, we have the moisturizer with SPF. It comes in its own box. I'm gonna open this next. So this is the Fenty Skin Hydra Advisor Invisible Moisturizer Broad Spectrum SPF 30 Sunscreen. And we're gonna open this up. And so this SPF is actually earth friendly. It comes like with a case and then it comes with the SPF and you can read, you buy the refills for it. Like this. And we're gonna close it. Okay, that is really cute. That is really cute. So this is what we have. I love this packaging. First impressions, I love this packaging. This is bomb. The matte, the matte light purple, bomb. I actually think in the cleanser restocks, even if I don't like this stuff, I'm gonna buy it, cause this is a cute set. When you look through the toner, it has FS in the back. That is so cute. This is giving minimalistic, huh? This is bomb, this is bomb. Last, uh, two weeks ago, I put, on a, put out a blog post titled, Skincare is not one size fits all, in reaction to the Fenty Skin dropping and as kind of like a precursor for this video. When the skincare line dropped and a lot of people found out that the line had fragrance in it, the timeline was in a frenzy because a lot of people could not understand why Rihanna would put fragrance in her skincare. Understandably, because a lot of people have skin, have fragrance allergies. And Rihanna explained that she likes to put fragrance in her skincare products because it creates a experience for herself and for her users, which is totally understandable. Um, personally, I cannot say that I have an allergy to fragrance. I've used products with fragrance in them. One of them is the Pixie Glow Tonic Toner. It has fragrance in it. I'm pretty sure because it smells like perfume. That did not give me any breakouts or reactions. So this fragrance and this product should not um, cause me to have any reactions. I hope it doesn't, but we're gonna see. So tonight we're gonna be using the toner and I'm gonna be using the moisturizer in the morning because it has SPF. I don't need to use that at night, of course. 
let's go ahead and get into these products like i said i don't have the cleanser so tonight i'm going to be using my origins checks and balances frothy face wash this is one of my favorite cleansers i've been using it for over a year now i used it last night this is a handy dandy cleanser so i'm going to go ahead and cleanse my face with this So you take this sticker off of the top, you open it like this, and then pour it in your hands. I'm scared, literally I'm scared. Oh yeah, this is thick. This is like a serum. Dang, this is reminding me of a, this is reminding me of a serum. It doesn't remind me of its owner at all. I'm gonna just press it into my face. I'm not mad at the fragrance. I'm taking it down to my neck. Oh, I'm not mad at the fragrance. I don't know if I can't smell, but I can smell it. It's not giving strong. It kind of smells like a cherry vanilla to me. I don't know. I can smell it on my hands, but I can't smell it on my face. So I have my toner on. I'm just gonna follow it up like I would any other toner with some hyaluronic acid serum and my moisturizer. Okay, y'all, I just finished my routine. So I will be back in the morning to try out the Fenty Skin Moisturizer with SPF. As far as this video goes, um, today is Monday. I'm gonna attempt to use these every day until Friday or Saturday, as long as I don't have a reaction or anything. I'm gonna use them until Friday or Saturday. Stop using them, gather my final thoughts, come back on camera and talk about what I think about these products. I will see y'all in the morning. What's up y'all? Good morning. It is currently about 7.30 a.m. and we are about to do our morning skincare routine using some more Fenty Skin products, but before we do that, just an update on the toner last night. After I stopped recording, I just um, checked my skin like maybe after 10 minutes, after 20 minutes, to make sure I wasn't having no reaction or anything. And I wasn't, no bumps, no redness, no tingly feeling or anything like that. So this morning, we're gonna be trying out the sunscreen. And I know last night I kept saying like, oh, tomorrow I'm gonna try out the SPF, tomorrow I'm gonna try out the SPF. And I wasn't even thinking about using a toner again this morning. And that's because honestly in the morning I don't use a toner. I just usually cleanse my face, moisturize SPF and go out the door. But I think, duh, I should be using them together. Um, I just watched Sean Garrett, not the producer. Sean Garrett is an esthetician and he's the official Fenty Skin Ambassador. Um, you can go on his page and find out a lot about the products. Um, I just watched his video using everything, and of course he used everything together. And I think using them together is gonna give me like that Fenty skin. You know how the Fenty aesthetic is like natural, dewy skin, stuff like that. So that's what I'm going to do today. Um, the cleanser I'm gonna be using this morning is the CeraVe, CeraVe, CeraVe Hydrating Facial Cleanser. I just started using this. I've probably been using it for a month now. I really like this for a nice morning cleanser. It's mild, doesn't foam up a lot. It's not doing too much for the morning. It's just get it wet, massage it into your face, rinse it, and you're gone. But it's definitely hydrating, which is why I like it. And then, of course, I'm going to tone using our Fenty Skin Toner and our SPF. So, I'm going to tone. I mean, I'm going to cleanse, and I'll be right back. Okay, y'all, I just cleansed, so I'm going to go in again with our Fenty Skin Fat Water Pore Refining Toner Serum. Like I said last night, this is really thick. It's not like a um, traditional toner. You can kind of see how it comes out. I'm just gonna rub that into the skin. We'll pat it in. Okay, so I have all my serum, and now I'm gonna go in with the Fenty Skin Moisturizer plus SPF. This is called Hydrovisor. You just open it like this. And the thing with SPF is we have to make sure we're putting on enough. Some people say it should be like two fingers worth, like a line up here, a line up here. So we're just gonna make sure we have enough. This is how much I'm putting on. 
hope y'all can see this is how much i'm putting on it's pink mm, this has fragrance too this kind of smells like it doesn't smell like perfume it smells kind of fruity so we're gonna see how this goes this may be too much we're gonna see how this Make sure you get your neck tie. Did I put on too much? Basically, you know, like all sunscreens look, everything with SPF looks like this in the beginning, and then once you keep rubbing it in, it shouldn't look like this anymore. Child, I do not have time for this. This morning, it's not really cold. It's starting to go in now. Okay. So you just gotta make sure you're rubbing it in. Okay. So we have it all rubbed in. So today I'm gonna be looking for again, and sure I don't have reaction to fragrance. Secondly, seeing how these two products work together. Most importantly, as you guys can see, my face has like some shine to it. And there's a difference between, you know, like your skin looking glowy and dewy and then looking greasy. I'm hoping that, you know, once I go outside, y'all know I live in Virginia, it's hot and it's humid. I'm hoping once I go outside, this doesn't turn into oily, greasy mess. I think that's gonna be my biggest thing with the SPF and especially using these two products together. I wanna make sure that I don't turn oily and greasy throughout the day. All right, y'all. I maybe we'll check in this evening or midday just to see how the SPF is looking, making and seeing how these two products work on oily skin. Um, seeing are they creating more or are they helping me not be as oily? Maybe I'll check in at noon and then after that I'm gonna keep using this all week and see y'all this weekend. See y'all later. Okay, y'all. This time we looking at midday and I can say, wow glowing okay i see you fancy what's up y'all it's been one week and i'm ready to share my experience using fancy skin so as you all know i did not have the total cleanser that came out with the line so we're going to jump right in with my review of the fat water pore refining toner serum so this serum when it first launched like i said i had a really high hopes for it i was so excited this was the product that i was most excited to use um mostly because of the name the way it looked um the fact that it was a toner and a serum and that it promised hydration as an oily girl i'm always looking for hydration because we know that oily skin is dehydrated skin so i'm always looking for to add an extra step of hydration into my routine this product did not overwhelm me like i thought it would but it did what it said it was going to do and i found that using it day and night really was the game changer for it um usually in the morning i don't use the toner but since this did instruct me to use it at night and in the morning i can really see a difference in my skin my skin was definitely more hydrated and less oily from using this hydrating serum at night and in the morning and i also think that because my skin was more hydrated it appeared more bright and appeared more vibrant um, and not as dull because of the hydration that this added. So using this at night plus the hyaluronic acid serum and a moisturizer and then um, an oil to seal that in and then using this in the morning again was so great for my skin. Like I said, I thought this product was going to be like, oh my god, hydration, hydration, hydration. Oh, I love this, but it did what this said it was going to do, so I'm not mad at it at all. As far as the scent goes, it was not overwhelming for me at all. I could mostly smell it on my hands when I applied the product, but once I put it on my face and then put other stuff on top of it, I could not smell it at all. The packaging of this product, I absolutely love it. Like I said, you click it, turn it over, and it comes out. Click it back down. I love that you can see it. I love the purple. I love everything about the way this line is packaged. I also think that this is a lot of product. This is $28, and you get 150 milliliters or 5 fluid ounces. Most toners, I'm just eyeballing it. I feel like most toners, you don't get this much product. Or especially not a serum. Baby, them serums coming in little teardroppers, please. Th that is not this. I think this is going to last me a good little minute. I truly do think this is going to last me a minute. So, would I rebuy this? 
right now, I cannot answer that question. I'm gonna keep using it, but I can see this becoming a staple in my routine as a nice hydrating serum night and morning just to add that extra level of hydration that I am always looking for in my routine. So now that we've gotten this fat water out of the way, let's talk about Miss Hydrovisor, which is the moisturizer SPF 30 that came out with the Fenty Skin Launch. Baby, Miss Hydrovisor, shining star, shining star these past five days. When this first launched, I was like, okay, I do need an SPF. I'm gonna be honest, I, I do not wear SPF like I'm supposed to. I definitely do not wear it every day. And I actually talked about on my Instagram one time that I went to a football game, I got sunburned on my face really bad. It was bad face peeling and I still didn't learn my lesson. But I knew that I needed to be wearing it. So I was like, okay, when this comes out, maybe this can be my go-to SPF. I know I need to wear it. This girl was the underdog for this line. I did not think. She, she outsold the girls. She outsold the girls. My favorite thing about this SPF is the finish that it gave me. Y'all, when I tell you this gave the girls glow, it gave the girls dewy, it gave, gave the girls vibrant, honey bun, glazed. It, this is the closest I can get to looking like Rihanna is this Hydrovisor, okay? Y'all, I love it to finish this game. Like, I'm just rubbing it in like, wow, this looks beautiful. Right now, on camera, I'm only wearing Hydrovisor, and I have some of the Fenty Cream Blush on the cheeks, mascara, and the Fenty, Fenty Gloss Bomb. Baby, I'm Fenty down today. Honestly, Rihanna, I needed this at the top of the summer, boo. I needed this in May. I needed this in May. It's, it's, I needed this in May. Even though we can't go outside, I needed this at the top of the summer. The second thing that I was looking for in this SPF in which I was weary of in any SPF was I'm an oily girl, I get oily throughout the day. Is this gonna add to the oiliness in my skin? And honestly, when I first put it on, the shine that it gave me, I'm like, this can only get worse throughout the day, this is gonna be bad. But like I put in the clip, it didn't. It did not get too oily throughout the day, which I can appreciate. I also love the way that it feels. The texture is pink. It didn't give us the white cast, purple cast, pink cast. We're black, okay? Sunscreen can make us look ashy. But I didn't even expect that from this because it's created by Rihanna. She's black. She knows better. So I wasn't even really worried about that. But of course, it did not give us that cast. As far as the scent on this product, Definitely can smell it more on this because of the amount that I put on. Like I showed you guys, we're doing two finger roll, two finger rule for SPF, and you're putting on more product that um, scent is gonna be there. Way more noticeable than the toner. I think if you have trouble with scent, you will definitely have trouble with this product because you're putting on so much and it's staying on your face. And this is my last step, I can smell it. Now, was it overwhelming or triggering for me? No, but if you don't like scent, and you don't wanna smell it all day, you're probably not gonna like this SPF. I gotta keep it real with y'all. I do have some little minor, 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 minor complaints with this sunscreen. So the first one isn't even a Fenty thing, it's a Jordan in the sunscreen thing. So there are two types of SPFs, and I'm not really gonna get into the science behind it because I'm not educated on it, so I don't wanna speak on it, but I know there's chemical SPFs and there are mineral or some people call physical SPS. And I know that the mineral and physical ones are the ones that are more prone to leaving that white cast. And the chemical sunscreens are not, which is I think um, why they're more popular among people of color. The first day I put this on, I'm like, okay, my eyes are stinging. My eyes are stinging. So I get on Twitter and I just search like SPF eyes burning. And lo and behold, people said that chemical SPFs can cause some people's eyes to be irritated, which is what happened to me. And that was on Monday, so Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. I just, when I put it on, I was really careful not to get it in my eyes and stayed away from my eyes, and I didn't have a problem with it again. So if you know that you're somebody who has an issue with chemical SPS being irrit irritating to your eyes, I think that you should stay away from this. Also, this SPF is not waterproof. Actually, when you open this and take it out, it says that... If you're swimming or sweating, you should use a water resistant SPF and this is not that. Another reason is because since this is a chemical SPF, if you're sweating and it runs in your eyes and it gets in your eyes, it's gonna be irritated if that's something that you have an issue with. So that is something I do have to look out for when I'm wearing this. 
like I said, it stayed away from my eyes. As long as it stayed away from my eyes, I was okay. But I think I could not wear this to work out or anything like that because if it got in my eyes, it would just be bad. So I would love to see a waterproof or a mineral sunscreen from Rihanna. My second gripe with this SPF, I'm gonna show y'all. Y'all see how much is in here, right? This is not a lot of SPF. This is 50 milliliters and 1.7 fluid ounces. And y'all see how much I put on, right? In the beginning of the video. And that's how much estheticians say that you have to put on. Because this is SPF, it's not just a moisturizer. It is an SPF, so we do have to make sure we put on the adequate amount so that it even works and protects us from the sun. This refill is $30 and the whole package is $35. I believe that this SPF is not gonna last me long. I think for that little bit of product, $30 and I'm applying it that much every day, that's, this is not gonna last me at all. And I'm sad because I really do like this product, but I think I'm probably gonna be done with this in three weeks. I think two more weeks from today, I'm gonna be done with that bottle. If I'm not, I'll be surprised. Would I rebuy this? As soon as I'm finished with this, I'm not rebuying. I think I'm gonna try out some other SPFs and see if they can give me that same finish that the Fenty does. If they give me the same finish that the Fenty does, this is a no-go for me. <laughs> I'm sorry, because I just don't think this is gonna last long. Now, if it lasts longer, I'm proven wrong and I will probably keep using it. But if it runs out too quick, I'm gonna have to try some other SPFs that you get more product for less money because of how much you have to apply. And also, you're even supposed to reapply this SPF. It has it on the directions to reapply every two hours. I did not do that because I, come, I came back in the house around that time. I just stayed in the house. So... I didn't feel like I needed to put it on, but somebody that's outside and have to keep reapplying this, girl, this is going to be empty. So, will I re be rebuying the SPF? Not at this moment. When I run out, I think I'm going to try some other SPFs, probably the Black Girl Sunscreen. See how long that lasts me. See if it can give me that same finish that the Fenty does, and we'll go from there. Overall, this line, I feel like it's a great line for people that have normal, non-sensitive skin. If you are sensitive to fragrance, I would not recommend it because like I said, the fragrance on the SPF is just a tad bit overwhelming. The toner, not so much. The cleanser, I cannot speak for. Also, I think it's great for oily skin because of how hydrating it is. I can't speak for how these products will um, work on dry skin because maybe my skin is not dry, okay? It is very much beginner friendly for um, a morning time routine. You know, you cleanse, hydrate, and tone, SPF and moisturizer out the door. I think that's such a great line, but you can't really use the moisturizer at night because it has SPF in it. Overall, I really hope that Rihanna continues to expand this line. I would love to see some more products from her, especially a mask, you know, mask off Mondays. And one thing I would love, love, love to see in this line is it being Sephora. I'm not sure why it's not in Sephora, being that Fenty Beauty had some releases come out recently and they are in Sephora. I would have loved to see this stuff in Sephora. I feel like it would have saved people a lot of time. They could have sampled it. You could have went in the store and smelled it before you bought it, you know, if um, the fragrance was something that you had an issue with. So I hope that in the future, the Fenty Skin line is in Sephora. The girls need that. I need it. Because if this would have went bad, I would have been mad. Those are my thoughts on Fenty Skin. I love Rihanna. We all know this. We all love Rihanna. And as always, we all know that skincare is not one size fits all. How these products worked on me, they probably will not give you the same exact results. They may, they may not. Everybody's skin is different. I have oily skin. Um, I'm not acne prone. My skin is not categorized as sensitive. After you watch my video, if you're still like on the fence, I suggest you watch more videos, especially videos from licensed estheticians, black licensed estheticians. I 100% recommend that. They are 1000% more educated than I am and will be able to tell you how this may work on your skin if it's not oily or anything like that. But as always, thanks for watching y'all. If you try Fenty Skin, let me know how you liked it in the comments and I'll see y'all in the next one.